Over the last two years, you've seen me accomplish some of my biggest dreams. From Route 66 to Yellowstone. But one of the first dreams I ever accomplished actually took place back in 2018. When I was in elementary school, my music teacher treated us to a movie. I still remember sitting down in front of the TV and for the first time ever watching Phantom of the Opera. I quickly fell in love with it right then and there. It became one of my favorite movies, a movie that I would watch countless times over the many years. I promised myself and knew that if I ever one day had the chance, I would sit down and watch it on Broadway. So, as I made my way through my senior year of high school, it was announced that art and band students could take a trip to New York City. The problem though, even with fundraising, was that it was going to be expensive. Unfortunately, this just wasn't a trip my family could afford. And while my sister wasn't able to go because of this, I took advantage of the jobs I had to afford the trip. Over several months, I would work at McDonald's, as well as a restaurant my dad and stepmom had started that year called The Lunchbox. My job at our family restaurant was to essentially be the manager and run it every weekend. I would prep, cook food, take orders, wait on tables, and clean up the whole nine yards. Morning of the show. I eagerly woke up and I got dressed in my best outfit. That day, I would actually be getting senior pictures done around New York City by none other than Henry O, who is the professional photographer for the New York Jets and Giants. And then I would finish the day off by watching Phantom of the Opera. As we arrived at the show, I already began to drop a massive amount of money on souvenirs that I still have and cherish today. One of which is even the little monkey replica. It's a music box. And as we sat in our seats, I don't think I had ever felt such excitement prior to that moment. Sitting throughout the show, I was happier and more excited than a little kid on Christmas, knowing that eventually this giant chandelier would come crashing down above us and that the phantom was operating in the shadows. Knowing that all my hard work had paid off and this was a moment that I would never forget. And it was exactly that. The music was like nothing I had ever heard before, and even today this is still true. Hearing the orchestra only a few rows in front of us, the magnificently high notes that the singers were able to hit, and the climax, with fire shooting out from the stage, so hot that I instinctively threw my hands up to protect my face. We also happened to be there during the show's 30th anniversary, so we got to meet a member of the cast afterwards, as well as get some special souvenirs, such as a poster signed by the entire cast. And yesterday, after 35 amazing years on April 16th, 2023, Phantom produced its very last show on Broadway. Being the longest running Broadway show, Phantom has now closed its doors after 35 years and nearly 14,000 performances. Since opening in January of 1988, Phantom has grossed over $1.3 billion and over 20 million people, myself included, were lucky enough to have sat in the audience. Looking back, I realize that this is just another one of my experiences 
that I would have missed out on if I did not seize that moment back in 2018. And while Phantom may have concluded its run on Broadway, I know it will live on in several other locations, and for me and millions of others, it will forever hold a special place in our hearts. I'm living in a van and I can't complain. Ain't got much money, but I'm out of the rain. When the rent falls, do you throw a few bucks in the tank?